My past IGN. Something that I never really wanted to bring into the light of day, but why not? I don't have... I need to date. I'm daily uploading, okay? You guys subscribe. I'm watching you. <laughs> Basically because I'm gonna be bringing you guys a lot more content just from this point onward because I really need to work on Being consistent as a youtuber. I feel like that should be a priority This is gonna be one of the first videos, you know I was thinking of commentary ideas and this is the first idea that really sparked my motivation to record it and I'm not excited I'm also kind of just bringing it up because literally anyone can access this information So I'd love to have a video where I talk about the whys of my IGNs so, I guess we'll just start at the very beginning of time. Basically, it was early 2013. I think it was about February of 2013 when I first bought my Minecraft account. Why did I buy a second stone sword? My Minecraft account was bought because I pulled off a really difficult trick in gymnastics because I used to be in gymnastics. I was really young when I used to be in it, so I obviously don't remember too much. I don't even know what a muscle up is anymore. I guess you can look it up. It's probably on the internet. Somewhere. So basically I pulled off this hard trick and my parents decided to get me the game because I'd been seeing some of my friends playing the game and I'm like, Mom, I want that game. <laughs> I got an account so long ago. It really doesn't feel like that. I didn't really get into Minecraft for another two years, which was around 2015, which is when the first name change really happened. About a year after I first got my account, I honestly hated my IGN with an absolute passion. I hated it, man. So I was constantly looking up how to change Minecraft IGN. And if you didn't know, Minecraft IGNs weren't able to be changed until 2015. I was actually stuck with the name for about a year before I could actually change it. Week of the update that allowed you to change the name, I changed my name. From what I remember, I think around 2015, I was watching Furious Destroyer videos. Yeah. My second IGN was like a complete ripoff of his name. Yeah, it was Furious D. <sighs> I don't know what the numbers are. I, I'm really, I just have no idea. I don't know what 0815 is. <laughs> I have no idea. In 2015, I had five name changes because I was just addicted to changing my name and I could never think of like an actual name to be. Due to the fact that like you could now change your names, I just, I could not decide what my name should have been. Like I just, I couldn't, I couldn't think of one. So after I most likely realized that I probably shouldn't have a complete ripoff of a famous YouTuber, I decided to change my name again two months later and it's even worse. I don't know why it, it, it's gaming boss pvp i i don't know why i didn't start pvp until 2019 i actually hated pvp up until 2019 where i actually tried to give it a chance i have no idea why it was that i guess it was like my young self trying to be cool because in 2015 i would have been like nine i actually kept that ign for like three months too i don't know how or why oh there he goes. Three months later, I'm like, okay, it's time to change the name again. I'm getting bored of Gaming Boss PvP. So I decided to change it to something that was a little bit more relevant to what I had been doing on Minecraft, which was parkour. I was a parkour addict. I absolutely loved parkour. I still do. I don't really do parkour nearly as much as I used to. My bed is way further away than his is. I can get his bed in void. Oh my god. Yoink. And void. So I decided to change my name to parkour master jp i had this ign for four months because i mean it was a lot more relevant to what i was doing on minecraft and i actually like the ign we need to finish off this game where's this boy at also if you're wondering the pack or sky overlay that i have on it will be in the description i'm great at this game the sky overlay is weirdly immersive kind of reminds me of virtual reality if i'm being honest okay i was about to say if that was the thing that killed him i would have felt so bad oh my god I could, he, okay. How did he mess that up twice? My guy, I'm gonna need you to die. He's actually full health. I, I have a better idea. I'm gonna try and knock him off when he tries to come over here. Okay, there we go. We actually won a game. Anyways, on to my fifth IGN. As I said, I kept Parkour Master JP for four months before changing it again to something that is so 
so much work. I actually remember like having instant regret changing it to this name. Let's just say I used to diet Mindplex back in the day. Before I playing on Hypixel, which I really didn't even get into until 2019, I played Mindplex. So, you know, I was dumb enough to change my IGN to a thing related to Mindplex. Like you would never nowadays, nowadays you just really would never consider making a IGN that was like related to Hypixel. Why would you? So the full IGN was actually like Mindplex fan 0502. And the reason for the random numbers again, this time I actually, oh my God. That was so much KB1. This time around, the numbers mean something that actually at least has relevancy to me. It's my birth year scrambled up. And I think I actually remember my mom telling me to scramble up my birth year. Apparently she thought someone could do something with that, but like, I think anyone that knows my age could figure that out. So I don't really know. Oh my, obviously since I immediately regretted that IGN that I had chosen, I changed it a month and a week afterwards. But basically this name, this has a little bit of backstory. So it was actually XX King Jonathan XX. I had recently gotten a realm around that time. I think it was December of 2015. I basically had gone into a Mindplex lobby and asked for random people that wanted to join my realm. I think like two or three people ended up joining and one of them was called XX King Joey XX. So I'm like, okay, that's a pretty spicy name or at least my 10 year old self thought that. So I just decided to do it with my name and I actually kept kept that IGN for half a year. That's the longest I've ever kept an IGN. And then comes June of 2016, when I have had enough of my IGN, I felt. I decided that I had enough with my IGN and that I was gonna change it to something amazing. So I don't actually remember too much about this next IGN. It was John the Wizard 11, which I do remember why it was 11. It was because I was turning 11 in exactly two months and I'm like, oh, we got to think to the future and make sure that it's still relevant when I'm actually 11 and not 10. I don't know how I got wizard or anything. I think that stuff was just made up in my mind. It's just, it's such a kid name. Like there's something about it that's very kid i feel bad yellow and i are just going ham on pink here we're gonna have to kill pink since nothing was really happening bad got i think i'm gonna die here wait never mind no i don't really want to talk about the next ign it's arguably the worst i'm looking at it now like without as much context as i did being older it, it just doesn't it doesn't sound the same lively white holes yeah you heard me right your headphones aren't frizzing out. I am a huge fan of space, all things space and like the universe. Around that time, I was watching like random documentaries on black holes, wormholes, all that good stuff. What white holes are technically, it's basically the opposite of black holes. It's a theoretical opposite of a black hole where like it pushes out infinitely. And that was my IGN for a month. Also, just to give you some perspective, it's still 2017. We're four IGNs away from completing the arc here. The story arc. You are a laggy man. I'm getting out of here. Audi, never mind. Welcome to it's still 2017. And I actually think I was on my realm and someone was really questioning my IGN. Still didn't understand why, but I decided to change it anyway. This is where I first changed it to my related name. So many people ask me how I got my IGN. To be honest, I don't know the entire backstory. All I know is that I was thinking of doing something related to alpha and beta and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, let's put alpha and beta together. So that brings us to alpha -ta. And then I think I added Z because it was like the last letter in the alphabet. I don't know how that is relevant relevant in any way. He's gonna kill me with his fists, okay? I first get that. And because I think that the name is so cool, I actually decided to make my first YouTube channel. I first created my YouTube channel in April of 2017. It's kind of sad because I could have done something funny with it now, but I did delete it like last year just because I thought it was extremely cringy. No, Gray, this is not your bud. <laughs> I never really got into the game until recently. Reason for that, I mean, I would play Minecraft with my friends, but I never really had any reason to grind it because I hated PvP still, and I just didn't find survival all that fun. So that is why. 
subscribing. So thank you for sub I don't know who subscribed, but someone subscribed. So thank you for subscribing, my guy, my man, my man. So it was around 2017 that you probably know Fortnite came into existence. I played it on day of release and I slowly started losing interest and I stopped playing it really when like the community and the owners started treating the game as like a cash grab and it wasn't like as fun to play as it used to be. There's like about a two year gap there because I didn't play Minecraft in 2017 or 2018. Hence, no name change. When I still had my YouTube channel and was doing Minecraft stuff on it, I did put YT in my name three months after creating my channel and I had YT in my name around mid to late 2018. It's when I first first came back to Minecraft and due to the fact that I wasn't active on my old channel, I just decided to keep the alpha in the name but just not have it be what my YouTube name was. I thought that it was like weird sounding and older. The one alpha was actually the longest IGN that I had before the one that I have now, which I've had for about a year and two months. And I had the one alpha for 11 months. And I actually had that IGN when I first created this channel. And then once I was like really starting to feel for the alpha Taz name again I decided to change my Minecraft account and that's when I really decided to change my Minecraft account back to alpha Taz, which was in the summer of 2019 I've had alpha Taz ever since I did have a name change in February where I decided to lowercase the Z that doesn't really count <laughs> That's basically the history of my old IGNs. Now I just gotta win this game. <laughs> Why did I do that? Okay. Okay, how do I keep dealing that much KB? Boink. There we go. Badoink. Okay. I feel like I say yoink and badoink way too much in my videos. May the best win. Oh. He just, he just jumped in the void. <laughs> Expect a lot of daily and every other day uploads for the next few weeks to a month because I want to bring you guys content. I'm feeling like getting consistent now. Bye-bye.